My name is Robinson, and that night on the road left an indelible mark on my life. I am a truck driver, a man dedicated to long hours behind the wheel, transporting goods from one place to another. That particular night, I was traveling from Sacramento, California, to Denver, Colorado. It was my last journey before spending New Year's Eve with my family, after three grueling weeks of uninterrupted work. Three weeks on the road and one week at home with my loved ones, that's my routine. My intermediate destination was Salt Lake City, where I planned to rest before heading to Denver and finally returning to my home in Greeley, Colorado. Crossing California and Nevada was uneventful, but upon entering the state of Utah, around 11 at night, everything changed. Three lights in the sky caught my attention, forming a strange and enigmatic arrangement. Intrigued, I decided to stop and record the scene with my cell phone. I sent the resulting video to my wife, who joked that they were extraterrestrials. At that moment, I was only sharing the road with another car coming from the opposite direction, which also stopped upon noticing the lights. I tried to capture images, but the lights disappeared in just 40 seconds, the duration of the video. Although impressed, I thought it would be just a curious anecdote. However, what happened next would change my perspective entirely. After the stop in Salt Lake City, where I slept for a restful seven hours, I continued my journey to Denver, hoping to arrive home before the day ended. Around four in the afternoon, I finally reached Denver. I only had to deliver the cargo and head home to enjoy the celebration with my family. The first hours at home were calm, but around 8.30 at night, while we were having dinner, someone rang the doorbell. My 18-year-old daughter went to answer and returned saying that two formally dressed men were looking for me. Confused, I went to the door and met two intimidating individuals. Without introducing themselves, they urged me to accompany them to their vehicle immediately, taking my cell phone, as we needed to discuss a matter of great importance. Terrified and intrigued, I was led to a black van, where another individual of similar appearance seemed to be the leader. Without beating around the bush, they ordered me to delete the video I had taken on Interstate 80 and erase the copy I had sent to my wife. They warned me that it was a matter of great importance and that they had no intention of returning for another peaceful conversation. Confused and frightened, I returned home and shared the experience with my wife, who was also surprised. Without hesitation, we deleted the video from her phone. The situation worsened the next day when local police showed up at our house. My angry wife recounted that the officers told her they already knew we had deleted the video but urged us not to tell anyone about what happened for our own good. Since then, I've lived in constant paranoia. I don't know if they are watching me, if my family is in danger, or if these mysterious figures can do something at any moment. I decided to share this story to warn others and ask them to stay vigilant. The feeling of being watched by unknown forces is terrifying, and I only wish that no one else has to face something similar. Undoubtedly, this experience left a profound impression on me about how higher-ups control aspects of our lives without us even knowing, plunging us into a world of mysteries and conspiracies that I never imagined facing as a simple truck driver on Interstate 80. In this vast and unknown territory, we find ourselves vulnerable to forces that escape our understanding, reminding us that the road is sometimes much more than a simple path to our destination. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events. Thank you.